Hi, Peanut. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. Look, lady, I'm not interested. What's going on, guys? I am Joe Duckemeyer, Screen Rant. First of all, Rob, how are you, sir? I'm doing great. Welcome to Comic Con 2024. You were no stranger to Comic Con. Uh, no, this is God. God I've been coming since 1981. 1981. 1981. Wow, that, a lot of Comic Cons. A lot of Comic Cons. Grew, grew up here. Yep. Wild, wild. Listen, last night in Hall H, I yeah. got to ask you about yeah. this big Deadpool Wolverine sure. screening with the craziest fans you could possibly imagine. Were you there? I was there. You were there. How was that energy in the room, sir? Um, completely off the charts, matching when we first brought the Deadpool footage in 2015 and, and Ryan spoke of it, how everyone chanted, you know, uh, one more time. And it's funny, when the movie started, it froze. The credits froze, the, the, the opening credits. And people started, one more time, like as a gag, because they had just talked about it. And I literally was like, did that print of the film just burn up? I mean, people were like, and then they there was a pause and they restarted the movie and all was well with the world, but the fans went nuts. So that, 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 and, and, and they're the barometer for everything. If they don't like it, you, you can tell. Everything that was supposed to click, clicked. And, and, and kudos to Marvel. Monday night at the premiere in New York City, they had a really good uh, uh, representation of fans as well. And you could tell there, like, it's working. I was also at the premiere on okay. Monday in New York. And uh, sitting next to me, uh, sitting next to me and behind me were cosplayers. And I was so, it was so exciting watching yeah. the film with them because I was feeding off of their energy. Like they for would sure. pop for those for big sure. moments and that would get me so excited yeah. for those moments. And I'm not going to spoil anything because the movie's just fresh of out course, in theaters. Of course, Watch it in theaters. But you know what moments I'm talking about. Oh yeah. And when you know, it's it's crazy. <laughs> thinking about it now, when those giant, giant moments would happen, it was so exciting being in there with those fans because I, oh, yeah. like, like you had said, that energy level next, next. Hey. I've been keeping all of that stuff to myself for two years. Like, two, I was on set 14 months ago. Then the strike, you know, because of the writer's strike, the script was already written. They could they could film. But when the actor's strike hit and nobody thought when I was on the set, two weeks later they would strike. And then, boom, it's in pause for like five months, right? I can't believe they finished it. They, they had so much done because they had shot about halfway. And, man, they just trucked to the end. But I... When I was there, I, I thought I knew everything I was going to see. And I was like, wait, we're doing this too? And that's happening? And I was like, I can never leak any of this or I'll be killed. And and now I don't have to. I, I can share it with the world. Not here, but 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 with people on the street and the people who have seen it. Now everyone's experiencing it. And, and everything that they put in there that, that you knew the fans would love, they love even more, I think, than, than we thought. A hundred percent. It's wild because I definitely have to see it again because the, uh, the, the, the audience was so loud for yeah. some of the some of the dialogue. I wasn't even able to catch it. So it's definitely, you got to see it at least twice. It, better the second time, better the third time. I, 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 last night was my third time and I thought, wow, it, it's better than ever. It's, I think the first time you're just so curious and then you the second time you settle because you know and it just plays better because we get so hyped for this stuff. We yeah. get so hyped. Yeah, you know, I'm shocked that because there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens in this movie. In the in the spoiler culture and in, in the age of the internet, yeah. I'm shocked that none of these big things yep. leaked. It's they, crazy. So so what I kept telling everybody because occasionally they'd like maybe show a few more things in the trailer and you'd see these people online. Yeah. They're spoiling the movie, and I wanted to say, buddy. They're teasing you. They're misdirecting you. They're hiding so much that you have no idea. And those moments, and like I said, we know what we're talking about. People go nuts. One in particular that I knew would go the furthest goes the furthest. It it, it is the one that people just cannot believe. And and I think it's just exciting that it's out there. And and clearly, it's been out kind of a day and a half. It is beloved already. Oh. I mean, I, I'm reading the responses. Cr people are texting me, "Life, I'm going for my third time already. Going for my second time. Going." I mean, it. it this is going to be consumed for for a month. Like I said, in in, in my own little uh, social media review, is perfect. No notes. Like, Thank incredible. You. Thank you. Sir. Absolutely incredible. Now, looking back on when Deadpool was created, yeah. way back when, yeah. um, how has the character evolved as you have evolved? You know, look, he was meant as a smartass mercenary. Uh, from the Weapon X program, tying with Wolverine, I, I cleared all of this because Wolverine was my favorite character as a kid. Right. So if I, you know, uh, because this character I had introduced named Cable, 
had shook the comics industry. I mean, it really, New Mutants was a, a comic near cancellation. They even told me, Rob, no pressure. If it doesn't work, we'll put you on something else. Because I had turned down another X-Men book because I didn't think I was ready for it. Really? I wasn't up for it. They offered me X-Factor. And I'm like, I'm not good enough to do the original X-Men. I'm not good enough. I can't. I don't want to follow, you know, Walt Simonson. He's like God tier. So they said, New Mutants. And I said, can I fix it up? Can I flip it? It's like one of those house shows. Like, I'll, I'll flip this, this house. So I injected it with a lot of me. Yeah. And they allowed me. And, th and they told me, Rob, you can take over writing the book. So for my first issue, I, I needed to expand and, and give more characters. And Deadpool was at the forefront. And they just, I cleared it all ahead of time. I, I always sent in the sketches with the notes. And of course, now I'm writing the stories. And Marvel would be like, no, do whatever you want. Cable has worked out fantastic. Deadpool cleared. Domino cleared. Shatterstar. All of them. And the mail on Deadpool, you know, a fan had to, had to point it out to me. I talk about it all the time, about the response. But in New Mutants 100, the last issue before we launch X-Force, in the letters page, they're saying what I said to Marvel. This is like Spider-Man with, with guns and swords. That's how I pitched him. Because people forget. Spider-Man, when Todd was doing Spider-Man, it had become almost a horror book with Craven and 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 uh and Wendigo and, and Morbius the Vampire. Todd wanted to do like a, a dark night. Uh, everybody wanted to do Frank Miller, make sure. it darker. And I'm like, man, Spider-Man doesn't make jokes anymore. He's like worried if Mary Jane uh, uh if, if she's gonna if she's gonna divorce him and and like he's penniless and he it's like it had become almost morose. And I'm like, the Spider-Man I grew up with was joking while he kicked you and flipped you and punched you and so i just said he's gonna be funny and we made him funny and he had a, somebody asked me look that generation had already grown up on gi joe sure. the new the snake sure. eyes and that generation was also me so swords guns i love gear i love weapons the, the star wars culture you know laser swords guns so all my characters had gear and right. weapons so Deadpool had his katanas and his guns, and look, Marvel said, "Rob, you've got to, we've got to have more of him. He's a trading card in 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 X Force number one. He's a fact file. That that book sold five million copies. It expanded his awareness. He is the first twelve pages of X Force number two. Not X Force. It's Deadpool. That's because I I can literally tell you, I've experienced when fans demand something, and then you go, of course I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. If you get the fans behind you." I mean, th there is nothing you can't do, and 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 so, over the years, it's just uh, it's just been fun to watch him continue to expand his, uh, you know, his 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 influence. <clears throat> I, I tell people all the time when Marvel in the early two thousands put him in all sorts of video games, all sorts. Every year he was in a different video game, and then leading up to twenty fourteen, where he got his own video game, and that was R rated. And it was a little bit controversial because I had people who worked the game stops like moms are returning this store <laughs> saying, you didn't tell me that I'd I'm like lady, it's NC 17. Like it's, it's a, it's a R rated game. Right. So, but that just set the stage for Mr. Ryan Reynolds to absolutely 1000% land the plane. And he does it every time. He is the perfect match. You know, I, so you've shaped so much of uh, what I consume as pop culture and what I'm a fan of, um, you know, from from Young Blood, which we talked Thank about you. before we sat down, and obviously Deadpool. I loved X-Force. Yeah. Um, talk to me about Rob's, Rob's observations, because I feel like this is such an inspiring journey, because your journey in comics is quite inspiring, especially with the group that you got in with. Right, right. So can you talk a little bit about the uh, <clears throat> the memoir? Well, well so, so my book is, is, is going to be uh, a reflection of uh, just the incredible journey comic books took me on. I mean, I didn't think I'd be making a commercial with Spike Lee. Sure. Uh, I didn't think I'd be selling 5 million copies. I didn't think I'd be starting the leading creator-owned uh, 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 company. I mean, th 33 years later, Image Comics is the number three comic company. I mean, it, it is held, and it is still the best place you can go for your creator-owned property because it doesn't want a piece of what you're doing. And that's that that's true to the spirit that we launched it with in 1992 with me and Todd McFarlane and Jim Lee, my partners. Uh, just then suddenly to have this this these experiences like the films and all the other stuff. You know, sometimes the stuff that doesn't happen sure. is also just as interesting. And so like the three years I spent with Tom Cruise developing a movie, um, that kind of stuff, I get to tell just all of my adventures and in almost four decades in comics and I really believe like look the, the book company uh, uh, 
my, my agent said, I, I wrote a screenplay. Mm -hmm. And they said, can you make this into a proposal? We can set this up as a book. As a book, and you know what? They took it. So it, I wouldn't be here unless a company said, "Let's publish this." Sure. So, so I guess they, 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 because I had to give them chapter lists, get a pretty, pretty, pretty uh, extensive pitch, you know, pr proposal. And uh, so I, I hope people are really entertained by it because I think behind the scenes, of the comics industry has never been told in this manner. Right. And I was a teenager. I got hired at 18 years old. So, so I have known. <laughs> my my somebody the other day said, literally, what would you have done? I said, janitor. I had no other skill set. I had. I am not. I am not going to be a doctor. You're not looking at a doctor, a lawyer, anyone that that takes patience or, or 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 some sort of like knowledge. I can. I can. I can tell stories on paper. That's what I do. Absolutely incredible. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Rob. You thank are you. amazing. And now, sort of a quick little note. Uh, back when I, I I was a a backyard wrestler when I was a little kid, and our yeah. tag team name yeah. was Youngblood. So I, I just have to it. give you a shout out for that. I love it. Thank you so much. Hey, man. thanks for having me. Of course. Thank you. <sighs> Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? Why am I here?